It's important to see what Soros is investing in. Could there possibly be, be any conflicts of interest? <laughs> no, no, they're looking out for you. Through his Soros Fund Management Head Fund, uh, Soros is heavily invested. I just want to show this. First, we start here. Crime Inc. George Soros, spooky dude. He starts Center for American Progress, headed by John Podesta. Center for American Progress with John Podesta selects the Obama transition team. Isn't this great so far? Next step, Soros. Soros is thinking about buying, oh, I like gasoline-powered brassiers. I like that. That's what, I'm not, what, it's an oil company? Uh-oh, spooky dude must have gotten it wrong. Almost a billion dollars to Petrobus. Yeah, now this caught my attention. Seemingly nobody else has caught this one. I, that's weird, because by the time we get to the end of Crime Inc. here, whoa, you're going to think, that is strange. Remember, Petrobus, Petro, Brazil, Brazil's state-controlled, state-controlled oil behemoth. It's Brazil's version of big oil, but they've nationalized it for the little people's convenience. They've netted $15 billion in profits just last year. As of March 31st this year, SEC filing shows Soros has $637 million invested in, in the Petrobus. Yeah, yeah. Last December, the fund had $9 million invested in the country, in the, in the uh, $900 million uh, invested in the company, making Petrobus one of the fund's two largest stakes. Got it? Two. One of the two largest stakes that we can find in Soros' investments. Now, what was it that he saw that the rest of the world didn't? Is he just that much smarter or... Is it maybe that spooky dude, you know, has some connections? What? You wouldn't use your connections? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if he knew that the administration would be making a $2 billion preliminary commitment for Petrobus. For Petrobus. For exploration. Just days after he strengthened his investment. Isn't that weird? You see, he's got some connections here, but I'm sure he had no idea what was coming on the other side of the circle. Mm -mm. No, it's probably just another one of those bad luck situations for Obama because this doesn't seem to pass the smell test at all. No, billionaire investor dumps money into a state-controlled Brazilian oil company. Days later, the American administration dumps $2 billion into the exact same company. What are the odds, Gilligan? Let's go here. George Soros starts a Center for American Progress with John Podesta. John Podesta's Center for American Progress selects the Obama trans transition team. Okay, Soros buys $900 million in gasoline-powered bras. Then, in a completely unrelated story, BP has their oil spill. But wait a minute. Who's this guy? John Podesta? John Podesta is the guy who does all the lobbying for BP? Certainly. I'm sorry, Tony Podesta? Certainly no, no relation to John Podesta other than their brothers. We'll have to come back to that one later in the show. So then, Center for American Progress starts to make Obama policy. This one, we'll show you, laid out by Bloomberg and the Wall Street Journal. One of the policies, cap and trade, which goes right to Crime, Inc. And all of the Obama friends with the climate exchange in Chicago. That's weird. Then Obama suspends the deep water drilling at 1,500 meters. He says, hey, hey, that's dangerous. 1,500 meters, that's crazy. Petrobus is drilling at 2,777 meters. Obama knows it and loans $2 billion to Petrobus. Last stop, Petrobus shareholders get rich. Oh my gosh, we're back at the beginning. Shareholder, Petrobus, getting rich, you getting screwed. 
You see how this works? Don't you feel better inside? The American president is out looking for you. This administration is crippling the American competitors of Petrobus right now. The biggest winner in this oil spill and all of these things is Petrobus. Mind you, this is a multi-billion dollar company that ranks in ten, rakes in tens of billions of dollars in profit each and every year. Why would we loan Petrobus two billion dollars? Why would we be loaning and investing in another country's offshore drilling while banning ours? A lot of questions. Good thing we have another 43 minutes. Circle of crime keeps going around. Next.